Sometimes derelict buildings require a bit of imagination to help bring them to people's attention. I've come to the Bankside Conservation Area in Margate to find out how the council here is being influenced by creative residents both past and present. Council officers have found an alternative way of drawing attention to an empty historical building that's perilously close to being pulled down. Built in the late 18th century, the Fort Road Hotel is one of the last surviving buildings of this period in Margate's historic Bankside area. Margate was home to the famous landscape painter J.M.W. Turner, who it's said used to regularly drink at the Fort Road Hotel himself. The hotel has been empty for 20 years now and has fallen into serious disrepair. The Bankside area is currently undergoing regeneration and millions have been spent on the brand new Turner Gallery just opposite, leaving the Fort Road Hotel looking more derelict than ever. The council is now seeking private investors to help restore this historic building back to its former glory. In a true light bulb moment of inspiration, the councillors came up with a unique way of bringing attention to the building. To find out more, I'm meeting local council representative Chris Wells. Joe, welcome to Margate. Thank you, nice to meet you. Now, iconic site. What's the story behind the neon sign there? Well, it's pretty straightforward. We have a building here, as you can see, in need of some uh, tender love and care. And one of the ways we looked at uh, trying to uh, encourage people to come and give it some tender love and care was to use the artistic community that's now very much part of Margate. And create a, a sign like this that actually encourages people to think of it as an artistic endeavour as well as just a piece of architecture. The sign is bright, it's bold, it's upfront, contemporary, a little wink and a nod to another artistic resident here in Margate? Well, perhaps so. Tracy Emin is a Margate girl. She had her own neon sign over here near the turn contemporary a little while ago. She told us at the time that uh, she thought the town could do with a bit more neon. I suppose what's needed is someone to come along and spot the potential. It's a fantastic old building. It could make great flats or a boutique hotel or whatever, but someone needs to see it and realise the vision. I think that's so. I think they need to come and see what our vision is for the town and see how this building plays an important part in that vision and how visible it is. And we want somebody who's had an interest in making something iconic work for the whole of Margate. That sign says, come and rescue me, and we hope somebody will come along and help us rescue that building. The regeneration of an area like Bankside in Margate may begin with a multi-million pound project like the Turner Contemporary, but to maintain the heritage of an area, it's so important to look after the historical buildings. Now, it's encouraging and certainly fitting that the council have chosen a creative and artistic way to highlight the potential of the old Fort Road Hotel. Fingers crossed the neon sign will be its lucky charm, and who knows, just perhaps, it's one that Turner himself would have approved of.